Okay, you dirty ass mofos. Welcome to powerlifting with no <laughs> powerlifting. I know a lot of you guys are missing powerlifting with calisthenics. I'm so sorry, but that has to come at a later date. I know a lot of you guys just loved seeing me hit those PRs, the overhead pressing, which is probably probably my favorite exercise besides doing the deadlift. Anyway, that's another thing. But welcome to bodybuilding with calisthenics, the uncut version, which is where I show you guys my entire workout, which I don't show you guys in my official powerlifting. Why I keep saying powerlifting? Bodybuilding, bodybuilding, size over strength, bruh. Size over strength. But yeah, guys, watching this one is like totally optional. This is just the uncut version for those of you guys who want to see exactly what I'm doing for my workouts okay so I hope you guys did enjoy the first episode you know I know it wasn't so lively but I do plan on adding a few things here and there to spice it up a bit but of course the main priority is to make them gains now my ninjas let me just tell you right now that when I woke up today I was so sore like I swear I felt like I got hit by a truck because a lot of people are saying, yo, there's no way you can bulk with calisthenics. You need to go to the gym. You need dumbbells. You need barbells. Nope, that really is not true. Watch when you see the second set of my push-ups. You will see that I literally failed. Like, my muscles literally, literally would not fire off. It's like they were dead. I actually like the feeling, though. I like the feeling of my muscles going to failure. Yes, it feels like complete shiz. But at the same time, it's like, damn, like my muscles is really getting in this work. By the way, guys, for those of you guys who haven't realized yet, I'm actually doing push day today. I think I said it at the beginning of the video. No, I didn't. And this is where I failed. Like, I couldn't push myself. I was trying. I was like, yeah, forget it. But I got back on my knees, no homo. And I tried to go for it again. I think I got one rep in. And then I failed. I was just like, yo, this feels absolutely amazing. So a few of you guys actually do want to try bodybuilding with calisthenics yourself and you guys are asking me, yo, where do you get the weighted vest? Well, always search online, guys. The weighted vest I got was for $150 uh, and it goes up to 100 pounds, but right now I'm using 30. But I encourage you guys to go online on Amazon and just type in weighted vest and they'll deliver it to you. I decided to go on top of the parallel bars because it actually feels a lot better doing push-ups this way. I don't really like doing push-ups with my hands like flat on the ground. It just doesn't really feel that comfortable, especially for my elbows. No word of a lie, this is so freaking hard. What's in the vest is 30 pounds, 33 pounds, and yo, it is tough. But I'm happy because I'm pushing myself to failure. Yo, I'm feeling an intense pump right now. Usually when I go higher reps, like 12 reps, 10 reps, my arms feel like they're about to explode. Yo, for those of you guys who say you can't walk with calisthenics, you guys haven't even tried it yet. So it looks like my video just may have a chance to be a part of Ass Beast Mode because he did reply to me. It wasn't to confirm that I got chosen, it was just to tell me how to send the video into him. But to be honest, I really do not believe that a lot of people are submitting videos into him. But just imagine if SOS gets featured on Ass Beast Mode, it would be crazy. My workout ain't done yet, but I'm really starting to contemplate doing an upper body, lower body split now. I'm really contemplating it. Not because I find that it will be better, but it will be a lot less time consuming since I have like work all throughout the week. I rather, I rather do upper body, I rather do upper body on Saturday, so today, and then do lower body on Sunday, and repeat that again on Wednesday and Thursday. I might actually do that so that during my work days, I only gotta train twice, and plus I gotta take a longer break. It's easier for me to edit the videos, blah, blah, blah. I think I just might do that. I just might do that. We'll see how it goes. My chest is killing me right now. My arms, my shoulders are killing me even more, but you guys know I want some crazy ass delts, so it's time to do some handstand wall. Yo, I'm flustered right now. It's time to do some wall handstand push-ups. Get those delts coming out. I know, guys, I know. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I was tired. I couldn't do it. So guys, my shoulders are freaking fried. I can't do the wall handstand push-ups. So I think I'm just gonna do some pike push-ups. These pike push-ups are basically the easiest variation you can do in terms of doing pike slash handstand push-ups or wall handstand push-ups for your anterior delts. 
So basically, those of you guys who are pretty, you know, advanced or intermediate or whatever, you're not a beginner, I wouldn't recommend that you do these by itself. Like, do these only if your delts are pretty tired. Because after I did my dips and did my push-ups, my delts are tired. So therefore, doing these pike push-ups actually felt pretty intense. Heck, you know what could be a good drop set if you're not so tired? Go on the wall, do your pike push-ups with your feet on the wall, do like 10 reps, and then do 10 reps of these type of pike push-ups. That will kill your shoulders. Crap. Oh my God. Okay, no more, no more pike push-ups for today because I just got a cramp and I'm not trying to risk getting a harder one. So F that, I will try to finish off with some with some overhead pressing with my, what is it called? The weight vest. Now at the end of my workouts, I'm basically going to be using my weighted vest as like an alternative to dumbbells or barbells. So I could basically do exercises like this to continue to burn out my muscles. Now whether a lot of you guys want to believe this or not, because I know a lot of you guys love the gym, but just realize that using external weights like dumbbells and barbells is way easier than doing calisthenics because you could actually choose your intensity a lot more than when you're doing calisthenics. Now this is going to sound harsh, but just understand what I'm saying. If you're trying to bodybuild and you're weak, you have to go to the gym. For example, some of you guys can't even do pull-ups. There's even some big people in the gym who have muscle, but they're still too weak to do proper pull-ups. So they're forced to be in the gym and use weights to build their muscle because they're just not strong enough to actually use their own body weight. It's too intense. It's too much weight for them basically. That's why I'm trying to tell you guys that using your body weight is good enough to build muscle. Once you get strong enough, like for example, I've been doing calisthenics for over a year. So I'm strong enough to just use my body weight and add more weight on top of that to increase the intensity because you guys already know, progressive overload. People like to call calisthenics hippie shit, but to me personally, the gym is hippie shit because with calisthenics, you either man up and be able to do it, and the gym is, well, hey, you have machines, you have weights, and everything you need to make it as easy as possible for you. Okay, guys, so that is it for this workout. That was intense. That was crazy. That was a lot. That actually felt kind of good, though. Even though it was painful, it felt pretty good. But damn, I didn't know it was going to be that hard. For some reason I thought it was going to be a little bit easier, but yo, hey, that's, that's the beauty of all this, the struggle to, to gain that 20 pounds. I know my delts are going to start popping out soon time, oh my goodness, but yeah, uh, next workout is going to be tomorrow. I think I'm going to pair that with back and biceps and legs. I think that's how I'm going to start doing it. Or I'll probably start doing push day with legs and do back and biceps on another day. So yeah. Talk to y'all next time.